Welcome to Insider Tips. Today I'm going to take a closer look at your operations manual. If you missed any of the five past tips about setting up your organizational strategy, it might be worth your while well to stop and go back and check them out before you move on. If you're up to speed, you've assigned the right people for each job to operate your property, determined the specific tasks for each job, and what is required to complete each task. This was to be done in an easy-to-follow, step-by-step checklist form. When all the checklists are completed and compiled, you have a working operations manual. What I'd like to do now is to dive into the manual itself, what it's going to look like, and how it's going to be used. When you open up your completed operations manual, you should have a series of checklists, and the checklist should be easy to find. To do this, divide your checklists into categories and assign each category a color. For example, housekeeping blue, customer service red, breakfast green, accounting yellow, maintenance orange, and on and on and on. You get the idea. Each checklist details the specific steps each housekeeper, front desk agent, maintenance person, accountant, etc must do to complete their job. The checklists have to be very specific with step-by-step -step instructions of what to do and in what order. Okay, that's today's tip. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss any future tips. And if you haven't done it yet, join one of our groups that best serves your needs. To find out your options, visit keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com slash private hyphen groups. Until next time, have a nice day.